Excitement enveloping everyone here because it is a huge occasion. The Champions League final. Who's going to be crowned Club Kings of Europe? It's Arsenal and they take on Barcelona. It's coming up live next on EA TV. It is something very special indeed to make it to a UEFA Champions League final. Now these two teams are intent upon tasting glory. Welcome to the showpiece event on the European club calendar. Derek Ray here in the commentary position, joined tonight for live coverage by Stuart Robson. It's Arsenal facing Barcelona. Well, Derek, it doesn't come any better than this, does it? This has the makings of an absolute classic. These are two brilliant teams, and at the moment, I can't separate them. A look at the starting lineup for Arsenal. William Saliba starts alongside Gabriel in central defence. Bukayo Saka plays with Gabriel Martinelli on the flanks. And the tactical configuration has two players in attack from the very outset. And here's the starting 11 for Barcelona. Well, they're starting with an attacking 4-5-1 formation with three players in advance of two holding midfielders. But it's important that the wide players come in field to join the centre forward at the right time. This is it, the Champions League final. They are underway. Who will be crowned club kings of Europe? Bukayo Saka. And Havertz. And return to Saka. Just straying offside. Pedri. This is Robert Lewandowski. Lewandowski. Delightful pass. And defensive play to be applauded. Martinelli. And promising stuff from Arsenal. Succeeded in keeping it in play. A lot of excitement whenever Bukayo Saka is in the lineup. Stuart, what might we see from him in this game? Well, he has that ability to beat defenders and deliver excellent crosses. He's going to be the key player on the field today, that's for sure. Attending to his defensive chores. A really good pass. Genuine chance. And rattling the post. And in the end, no damage done. 
Well, Arsenal could easily be leading now. They're certainly looking threatening. You just sense a goal is coming here. Well, having been denied by the woodwork, now the focus is on keeping the opposition at bay. And that's really well read. Arsenal could threaten from this position. Crosser. The fans want to see a shot. A good vision. And the pass in the line to the fence. Quick thinking from the keeper. Kunde. Trossard. Passing. Yuri and Timber. Bukayo Saka. Good play it in. Good use of the ball, but can they trouble the defence? Making a bit of headway. It was on its way in. Lewandowski. Jules Kunde on the ball. Pedri. A good challenge to bring that attack to an end. Thomas Partey. Bossard. Ben White. Now winning back possession. and an Arsenal throw-in forthcoming. Still on level terms, moving the ball nicely. Well, the supporters think it's on. And it didn't happen for them in attack. And there it is, the half-time whistle. to the second half then and these two sides are locked together just can't really choose between them at the moment Lewandowski Alex Balde and he must fail with the cross this looks interesting Committed defending. William Saliba. Osar. Kai Havertz. This might be ideal for the counter. He has time to play it over. Very effective passing sequence. Ben White. 
And here's Saka. White. Marcinelli. On to Trossard. Strength and control, a big part of his game. Kunde. Danny Olmo with it. Lewandowski. Danny Olmo. And Barca moving the ball with purpose. Well, couldn't quite find his teammate. Well, he prevented it from going over the line. Partey. Rice with it. Havertz. Arsenal finding space on the wing. But nothing comes of it. Good defending it was. Pedri. minutes remaining who can he pick out Ben White to jump in front and you have just witnessed a really high class save well you won't see a better reaction save than that that is a superb piece of goalkeeping deciding to go short with this one and just over the crossbar well good delivery and decent contact but he just couldn't get over it could he A quarter of an hour remaining here. Well, as we've seen, Arsenal have dominated the ball in the last 15 minutes. Not just in terms of possession, but also with the chances they've created. And that winning goal is surely just round the corner. Oh, that's right. And unusually, they don't have the ball on this occasion. Balde, Pedri, Alex Balde, and he was in the right place to intercept, Martinelli. Jules Kunde on the ball. Five minutes remaining then, and the score sheet remains blank. And level it is in the waning moments. Can Barcelona change that situation? Able to close down the shot. Oh, he really cruised the crossbar. What 
a big moment in the dying embers. Will it prove decisive here? Kunde. Danny Olmo with it. Pedri. Well, they're keeping their opponents moving and guessing. And the referee has added on two minutes of stoppage time. Can he make it count? Oh, they really might regret that. Well, what a big chance that was. That was the game right there. And now the wait is over. Barcelona have done it. The Champions League trophy will return to Catalonia. Well, just look at the emotions out there. Joy and relief on one side, despair and heartache on the other. But we've got the right winners here. They fully deserved it on the night. For these players, well, it's the night of their lives. And they're determined to enjoy every millisecond. Well, they have to make the most of this, don't they? It's a great thing. What an achievement from them. Well, they don't need to be reminded about what comes next. It's the presentation of the coveted Champions League trophy. Well, there's some tired players out there, but what you can be sure of, they'll find some energy when they get their hands on the trophy. They'll be going mad in the next few moments. It's Barcelona's Champions League. Well, this is what they wanted. What a moment for these players. They've worked so hard to win this trophy. They've been fantastic. And you can feel the emotion. It's natural to reflect on this final, but so much hard work has gone into the entire campaign. Memories, memories. And that's exactly what they're doing. Crossing over towards their supporters to say thank you, a collective effort always on these occasions. Well, what more can you say? They are the best team in Europe.